Before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that a monumental amount of work went into researching the information for this video. If after the video was done and you enjoyed it, or you just appreciate the information provided, please hit the like button on this video and pass it around to anyone who might want to know about it. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to convert your Minecraft Java Worlds to Pocket Edition and vice versa. However, converting Java Worlds to Pocket Edition is not a perfect process and a fair amount of information gets lost. What this video serves to do is show that what many have called impossible is actually quite possible. And it's me pleading to Mojang to please develop a tool that allows you to convert Minecraft Worlds between versions so that it becomes comes a perfect process. If you've come this far and you're still interested, let's go ahead and let's launch right into it. So I'm going to be going through the information in this video rather fast, so it would be good if you guys had some advanced knowledge of how this stuff works. If you'd like, feel free to pause the video to see what I'm doing on screen so that you don't get lost. And please note that all of the programs that I will be using will be linked in the description below. Also keep in mind that all Pocket Edition worlds are cross compatible with Windows 10 Edition Beta, so this method will work for that as well. Alright, first up is converting a Pocket Edition world to Java, which is a pretty flawless process. If you're using iOS or Android, you're going to need a tool for accessing the file system of that device. For Android, to my knowledge, this is quite easy. On iOS, it's a little harder, but I use an iOS device, so I'll be using a program called iFunbox to grab my Pocket Edition world, and then a program called LevelDB to Anvil to convert the world. Again. These programs are in the description below. Alright, so I've plugged in my phone, opened up the program called iFunbox, clicked on Minecraft Pocket Edition under Managing App Data, hit Open Sandbox, and then I opened the folders Games, then Com.Mojang, and Minecraft Worlds. These are your Pocket Edition Worlds. Keep this program to the side and then open up the level DB to Anvil folders until you see a bunch of files listed like you see here. And then drag your Pocket Edition world from before into the folder with all of the files. So you're dragging from iFunbox into the level DB to Anvil folders. Alright, now rename the folder that you just moved to World. Then start the batch file and it will convert your Minecraft world. The world anvil folder should now contain the level files that are needed. Now you're going to need to move this folder into your Minecraft saves folder for Minecraft Java. However, the world converter doesn't actually put a level.dat file into the converted folder, nor does it move the region files into a region folder, which is weird. So you're going to need to open up Minecraft on your PC and then just make a flat world so that you have a place to put the converted files. So now what I want you to do is rename world anvil to region and then drag this region folder into the location where you just made a new world on Minecraft Java and then go ahead and overwrite the files. But after that, BAM! Your Pocket Edition world now works on Minecraft Java and not much data should be lost but some things like sign information and the contents of chests might not work. And I know I went through this information very quickly, but I really have to. Otherwise, I'm going to be here all day. If you guys got lost, then go back into the video, pause and look at what I'm doing, and you should be able to get it without much of an issue. But all right, so now let's go the other way around. So Minecraft Java to Pocket Edition. This one is much more finicky and a lot of things won't currently carry over like most of Redstone. But if you want to play around with your Minecraft Java world on Pocket Edition, this is the best option that I could find. There's also a paid app for Android users, but I haven't messed with it and it's not free. So I'm not going to mess with it for now. So to convert Minecraft Java Worlds to Pocket Edition, you're going to need your Phone Explorer program again, but now instead of the program Level DB to Anvil, you're going to need MC Edit, which again is linked in the description below. I would recommend looking up a tutorial on MC Edit because I'm going to be going through everything very quickly again. 
All right, so to save you a ton of trouble, I have provided a 1024 by 1024 pocket edition map in the description below with which you will copy your Minecraft Java world onto. If you need a world that's bigger than this, you're gonna have to make it yourself using MC Edit, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So, all right, open up MC Edit and then open the world that you want to copy a maximum of 1024 by 1024 blocks from. Then use the selection tool to select the area that you want to copy, make the selection, delete the entities from that selection, and then hit the export button. Deleting entities might not actually be required, but Pocket Edition usually crashed for me if I didn't do it. So, all right, hit the drop down menu box and then select dot schematic. Don't save this as a dot MBT file because again, that probably won't work. And then save it to your desktop or wherever else you want to. Now, extract and open the pocket edition map that I provided and then open that in MC Edit the way that I am showing here. Keep in mind that MC Edit is very buggy with Pocket Edition maps. So if you want to even open a Pocket Edition map in MC Edit, you actually have to have a world already open. It's weird, I know, but I said before that this is an imperfect process. But all right, with the Pocket Edition map open, you should see a giant stone flat map. Click the import button on the bottom of MC Edit, import the schematic that you just saved, and then click it into place. Then click the chunk align, then the copy air, copy water, update spawner coordinates, and regenerate UUID boxes. I'm not sure if the first or last one is necessary, but they worked for me. Then hit import and wait until MC Edit is done. Once it's done, hit Control S to save the world. If you look at the console for MC Edit, it should be freaking out right now as it converts the blocks over. But when it and MC Edit are done, your world is ready. Go ahead and close out of MC Edit and then drag the folder from wherever you put it before back into your phone's file explorer. And then fire up Minecraft Pocket Edition and the world should load up and be good to go. Now, I know that a lot of blocks won't convert properly, like redstone, buttons, and some other things. Those are going to show up as white wool. So yeah, I know this process isn't perfect, but this is why I'm begging, pleading to Mojang. As the developers of both Pocket Edition and Minecraft Java, Mojang, please make a tool that makes this easy. I know you can. If all forms of redstone converted over using this process, you'd be able to bring over some pretty awesome adventure maps that already exist in Minecraft Java over to Pocket Edition. But this is what we have for now, so yeah. As I asked before, if you found this information useful or just appreciate the work that went into this, please leave a like on the video. It helps out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. And I also just want to say that I really have been appreciating the support that I've been getting from you guys over the past couple of months as I have been doing this new style of content. I've personally been really proud of the content that I've been doing, especially when you compare it to what I was doing multiple years ago. Uh, I know that a lot of you may have enjoyed the content that I put out back then, but a lot of it, I'm not going to lie, was really, really easy to make. And some of it I did legitimately have some pride in making, but I would say about 90% of the content, if not more, that I put out way back in the day, I just wasn't proud of. But man, over the past couple of months, pretty much every piece of content that I've put out, I have been exceptionally proud of. And I'm really glad that you guys have been taking a liking to the new content as well. If there's any feedback that you want to leave, please feel free to do so in the comments section down below. For the most part, when a video comes out, I tend to read the comments on the video for the first hour or two that the video itself is out. So again, if you feel like leaving any feedback, please feel free to do so in the comments section down below or follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash antvenom where I do read most questions that wind up coming through. And if an all-in-one tool winds up coming out for this at some point, then you can guarantee that I'm going to wind up making a video all about that. And if some third-party developer out there feels like doing so, then seriously, there's a lot of tools out there in the world that already exist for assisting with the process of converting a Minecraft world from one version to the other. All we really need at this point is just one nice package that puts it all together in a flawless manner so that we can actually do this efficiently. So yeah, 
But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.